It's Monday, December 17th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, the Central Okanagan Community Food Bank will make Christmas a little brighter for about 2,000 families. The food bank began distributing hampers Monday morning with the help of several volunteers. We've got 19 stations and volunteers are manning each station, making sure our clients get everything that they'll need for a hearty Christmas dinner. I brought my children, both my son and daughter, and their two friends as well. Oh, it's amazing. They, they need to come down and see that there are other people out there that are less fortunate than them. Um, it's really meaningful to, to help and they feel great when they leave. So this is the third year that they've been here. So. Hamper distribution will continue all week. The Christmas season won't be so bright for owners of the boardwalk in Vernon. That business was broken into late Sunday night. We had an alarm go off. We thought it was a little unusual. Um, so we came down to check it out and sure enough the RCMP were here and we had been broken into. The suspect uh, came in through two separate doors. So the front door and then the main door into the business. Um, so there's glass everywhere, um, clothing on the floor, and um, yeah, it just looked like it got cased a little bit. Deet said thieves made off with thousands of dollars in merchandise. The store was closed for repairs Monday, but they hope to reopen Tuesday. Do councillors in Penticton deserve a raise? That's a question that will likely be tackled by a third party task force this week in response to changes from the federal government on how elected officials are taxed. Beginning in January, politicians will no longer receive one-third of their income tax-free. The tax break existed to offset minor expenses paid by elected officials. Municipal governments across Canada have addressed the issue in a variety of ways, including increasing mayor and council salaries to offset the elimination in some jurisdictions. There's now competition for the direct flight market to Los Cabos. Sunwing made its first direct flight from Kelowna to the Mexican destination on Saturday. The airline will fly from YLW to the Mexican resort city every Saturday until April the 20th, joining destinations of Cancun and Veradero, which Sunwing already serves out of the Okanagan. If a sunny climate is not your thing, you could head down to Munson Mountain in Penticton Friday and help celebrate the winter solstice. The annual event aims to renew the ancient custom of welcoming back the sun. With December 21st, the longest night of the year, it also marks the return of the sun and increasingly longer days until summer. Two Abbotsford men have been arrested after police discovered drugs and weapons during a traffic stop in Kamloops. The men aged 19 and 20 were pulled over Sunday after failing to stop at a stop sign. The officer involved in the stop saw illegal controlled drugs in plain view. The men were arrested and a search of the vehicle revealed over uh, other controlled drugs, $2,000 in cash, two swords and a conducted energy weapon, a taser. Multiple vehicles were damaged, including four RCMP cruisers, when a suspect attempted to flee from police in the North Okanagan Monday morning. The Vernon North Okanagan RCMP still engaged in the incident that occurred after an alleged armed robbery took place in Salmon Arm. The investigation into the robbery led Enderby officers to engage with a suspect vehicle that was heading south from Salmon Arm. Throughout the winter, some of BC's highways are closed from time to time. Sometimes those closures are due to weather. Sometimes they're due to motor vehicle incidents and sometimes closures due to maintenance. Over the weekend, the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure shared some raw video of avalanche control work being conducted near Highway 1 east of Rummelstoke. The section of Highway 1 can be treacherous and is often closed throughout the winter. Stricter drunk driving legislation takes effect across our country tomorrow, giving police officers the right to demand a breath sample from any driver they lawfully stop. The previous legislation requires reasonable suspicion that a person has been drinking. The new law, which passed in June, also bumps up the maximum penalties for many alcohol-impaired driving offenses to 10 years from five. You can catch a glimpse of the Russian World Junior Hockey Team as they continue to prepare at Vernon's Cal Tire Place for the upcoming World Junior Championships. The team will be on the ice Monday night 
practicing from 5.15 to 6.45. Russia will take on Sweden in a pre-tournament game Tuesday night in Kelowna. Okanagan weather, a mix of sun, clouds, some showers for much of the week, and it'll continue to be mild. Daytime highs reaching 7, overnight lows plus 2 to plus 4. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, are you dreaming of a white Christmas? And we'll introduce you to an award-winning Okanagan cider. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. This is my last evening update for 2018, so have yourself a safe and a Merry Christmas and a great start to the new year. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.